All right, guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you yet again about foottrading.co.uk. Thank you to everyone that continues to subscribe and support our content. It means the world to us. You guys know we work very hard on the website. You make a lot of coins, but without you guys, we don't have a website. So thank you very much for that. We're working on another big giveaway this month, and hopefully we'll have details of that in the coming days uh, for you guys. But just so you know, £10 a month gets you access to Tier 1 perks, which is buying and selling prices for icons, specials, and silvers. As well as Thursday flips, they bang all the time. A lot of coins you made. And with tier two, you get all the tier one, plus chemstar filters, plus live filters. And we're adding UCL cards to that as well. PC prices have now been added. And we're continuing to add more PC features in the coming days and weeks. So make sure you check out booktrading.co.uk. You'll make millions as simplistically as anything. But for now, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So just a quick one from me. Um... Those of you that watch my channel normally will know we bring out a lot of content on this channel, uh, three videos a day, plus the streams, and it wouldn't be possible without someone else. So my little brother is my editor, so he does all the editing for all the videos, the thumbnails, the graphics. He helps run all my socials. He does a huge amount in the Discord. Basically just supports you guys and me like crazy. Obviously he gets paid for it, but he does a huge amount of work. Um, he's just launched his first video. His, his YouTube channel has just been launched, um, and I'll leave the link down below for it. If you can go and check it out, it'd be awesome. Essentially, the, the sort of style of channel is a lot of the stuff behind the scenes of what he does for me. So you guys will get a sneak peek into, into what we do and how hard he works. Um, and then other bits of his sort of life, like he's an up-and-coming referee at the moment. He does loads of bits and bobs with me on the vintage side of stuff. So all the stuff behind the scenes that you wanted to see of me before um, will be on his channel. And from my side, I just want to say thank you, Gellin, for everything you do for me and support you give me left, right and centre. It's crazy to think where we started this journey to where we are now. Um, only hopefully more good things to come. But yeah, guys, if you can if you can just go over there, drop a sub, watch the video. Once this video is done, it means the world to me. It means the world to him. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Let's get into the video. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload. Before I get into this, apologies if my voice is a bit croaky. Sort of, it's starting to go again, but we're doing all right. And I've been a little bit unwell with the COVID vaccine side effects. Nothing to worry about, by the way. Don't let that put you off. Everyone gets them. Um, it's the same as any injection, but obviously with my health at the moment, it's probably hit me a little bit harder. So my, my throat's a little bit croaky. But like I say, you do get three videos a day on this channel. The Morning League SPC Method to Glory, that is this video. Me teaching you guys how to craft players and packs so you haven't got to spend FIFA points on this game. It's a really good fun grind, but it does take a long time. It is a grind to do, but it means you don't spend your own hard-earned money on this game, and that to me is much, much better. The evening video is a trading series, and that's currently me trading from 1k to team of the year Bruno Fernandez, hoping to get that done within 7 to 10 days. We've already gone out and traded up to Prime Eusebio, who's in my team. Now it's time for Fernandez. And the midnight content is a mixture of packs, picks, all that sort of stuff. Um, and usually, sometimes we throw some trading tips in there if they're relevant to you guys right now, and I'll help you make coins. Morning stream on YouTube at 10am, evening stream on Twitch at 5.30pm. Check out the Discord down below, check out all my socials, and make sure you check out foottrading.co.uk. But big shout out before we start this video, there's going to be a link down below. You guys know I upload a lot of content every single day, it's a huge amount of content. And for my YouTube channel, I don't take any money from this. All the money that I, I earn from YouTube goes to my little brother who's my editor. Um, I don't take a penny from it at all. And he's now started his own channel with a lot of behind the scenes stuff for what he does for me. Um, as well as his own life and his own bits and bobs too. So if you can go down below, click that link down below for his video. Um, and drop a sub on his channel and drop a comment on his video. That would be massive, massively appreciated. I'm going to run a giveaway over there for foot trading at some point. So you guys want to get involved in that. Make sure you subscribe to him down below. But this is League SPC Method to Glory. And it's a pretty simplistic episode today. We're now building up into that new promo that we've got coming in the next two days. I think it is. Everyone's saying it's called What If, but I don't really know. And so the club prep continues. So just as a reference in terms of where we're at in terms of my squad at the moment. This is the current squad, obviously, with... Marquinhos in there basically for now as a, as a stopgap. Obviously, we'll find a way to link it all up. Uh, but long term, well, in the short term, we're looking for Bruno Fernandes to go in here and to move things around somehow, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to fit it all in. Uh, but that's a, the team as it is right now. So in all honesty, there's not much in terms of player SBC right now that's going to come onto this game and improve my team, if we're being entirely honest. So we've got the Tony Cruz yesterday, and it's a good card, but is it going to improve my team right now? It's probably better than our, but ain't that great, if I'm honest with you. So... A lot of the times when I'm crafting stuff now, I'm really going to be looking towards crafting icons and we should start to see some more icons soon. We've got four days left on these ones and the assumption is once these are gone, we probably then will get some new icon SBCs and we might get the obviously the packing icon SBCs, these ones here. 
but you should be able to get some of those, uh, the mid icons ones and primes, they should come along. So that's really where I'm putting my aims at the moment in terms of fodder. Um, but right now, for me, it's all about just grinding out the, the packs and stuff like that. And now I acknowledge last episode was quite pack light. It was more you seeing the grind. So today, got some packs here. We're going to complete the UCL Marky matchup today as well. And then we're going to complete the Libertadores. I think that's the third time round now that since I've started this from scratch, we've completed the Libertadores. It is one of the easiest SBCs to complete. And in terms of pack value, it's one of the best value pack packs out of all of them by a mile. Um, it's a really easy SBC to complete. So keep an eye on that because you pack a lot of those cards from the bronze packs anyway. And then silver upgrades, you get a load of them. There's, there's so many players you can go for. Uh, but we'll start off with these packs here. It is going to be quite a, re a relatively short episode today purely because... I'm going to be grinding out over the next 24 hours to finish off using those upgrade packs um, that came out into the game. Um, so it's not massive to show you in terms of where we're at right now. But we are now trying to push to get as many of the league SBCs near completion as possible. Um, so that we can go out and open up loads of packs in the new promo. That's what you should be aiming to do this week. Same as I am. Get your team your teams ready. All I've got to do in the Premier League is buy one West Brom player now, I think. Um, so we patched one yesterday, you guys have seen. Um, so for me, that's really where we're at with, with that grind, if that makes sense. Um, Junior Furpo here, anything decent in this pack? Got a valid elite player, not, not terrible, not great either. They can go up there to be sold on. So we've got four, I don't know why I can't end up here. We'll do a jumbo gold pack, we'll start with this one here. But I think this is from, I don't know exactly what we've developed with this from actually. Where's the jumbo gold pack from? It's from one of the La Liga Santander, we've done like three or four La Liga Santanders um, for this episode of just random sort of teams that we're doing. In the next episode we'll go over exactly where we're at for some of the teams, like all the big teams. Is Uruka tradable? He's not. I can't do them yet. I know that. I just checked. I'll we'll check the Bundesliga. So there's the club. Um, but yeah, so I'll go over it next episode. We'll go over in detail exactly where we are in terms of the teams left to complete for leagues. We're not too far from anything. It's West Brom that's really holding me up. And if it comes to it, I will just have to buy the West Brom player that I need. Um, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to it. That's the aim. It, like, we'd rather it didn't come to that. Uh, that's very nice. It's an Americana. These guys are quite expensive. So that's good. Save me some coin on that. These guys can go up there to be sold off as well, which is good. And then, so we've got two more packs left. We'll do the 15k and then the Prime Mixed Players pack. And actually, I might take you through... I might show you West Brom, for, for example. That's one I will show you. Uh, no board on that one. Well, no board on that one at all. But I will, I will show you West Brom, I think, and then the other leagues. We're getting on to nice. I don't mind that. 82 rated is pretty solid. Um, this stuff can go. Again, I know I say it all the time, but I know some of you that might be new to the channel hate that I get rid of this stuff, but I like my club being clean. I don't like it being messy. Um... And so I get rid of anything I'm not ever going to use. I get rid of those ones. And the Prime Mix Players pack to end off these packs. These won't be the only packs that we are opening up, obviously. But I really am getting impatient now. I want an icon. I've not had an icon yet this year. As we get a Liverpool Doris card, that is nice. But I've not had an icon yet this year. And I really would like an icon. And I'm getting very impatient with one. Because I've opened up so many packs. And yes, I've got some good stuff. But I haven't got an icon. So I'm getting jealous of people. Um, but that's basically what we've done so far. We've gone ahead and we did some of this, the La Liga Santander. We did... That's for champions, not that one. We did some of the Liga Santander. We did some of the... One of the Libertadores ones. But in terms of the leagues at the moment, like I showed you last episode, the Premier League looks like this at the moment. Um, it's West Brom is the one I've got left to do. And so basically that's where we're at in terms of it at the moment. Now I can convert these guys to get some Ken, but the most likely scenario is that I'm probably going to have to get... Someone converts Yakuzlu. Someone's converted Yakuzlu to strikers at gold. It's cheaper than a silver. So I might do that. Unless I've got the stuff myself, I can like the untradables, I can convert those. But I am going to have to go out and buy a centre-back. Like, I've got no choice but to buy a centre-back at this, at this rate, unless we could get lucky and pack one. That's sort of where we're at at the moment. Um, it's a bit frustrating. It is what it is. But West Brom, all EA have done, really, to offset West Brom is make them more expensive, and that doesn't work. You need to just put more of them in packs. Um, it's evident that EA have intentionally, like, lowered the pack rate on them because there's no way you wouldn't be packing the West Broms in the way that we are right now. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, but MLS, we're getting to, like, decent places on. Libertadores, like I said, we're about to complete that. And that's a nice one as well, because some of the earlier packs in Libertadores that are cheaper to do are good packs. And that's perfect for a promo. You want those for a promo, so you can open them up. Um, so the Americana, halfway through, like I say. Um, the La Liga, we just did. We're now over halfway on them. And some of the teams here, we've got four or five for. So like I've got six, I think, for uh, Athletic Club. I think I've got three for Cadiz already, or four. Alaves, I've got six for Barcelona. I've got four for, I think. But I don't want to use them, because... I want to make sure that we build up the teams first before I do those. And again, I could theoretically save a mega pack for the for the uh, promo because I'm not going to finish off this before the promo anyway. Uh, Huesca, I think we've got 4-4. Four, four. So we're not doing too badly. It all said and done. We're doing fine there. Uh, but what I will do now is, while you are here, we'll go ahead and complete the Libertadores. And we'll get that sorted out. For We get a... 
Small Decks and Players Pack from that, and then we get a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack for that. I'm not a massive fan of these those pa packs as a, as a reward, but you never do know. Uh, but yeah, we're back in a second. I'm going to go sort out and see if there's any other SBCs outside of the Libertadores and the UCL marquee matchups that we can do. Um, and if not, we'll open these up and then we'll do the marquee ma marquee ma blah, 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 blah. the marquee matchups. I will be right back. All right, guys, so we've gone ahead and got Lazio done as well. Now, I've got quite a few in the Serie A that have seven teams in them, but I've been selling my, my Italians at the moment because they're high. There's no reason not to. Um, and so I'm not going to go out and spend loads on them. Like Atalanta, for example, I need a striker for. Um, but they're already inflated right now or left mid, but Gossens is very high. So I'm not about to go out and spend loads of coins on those players that I don't need to. I just wait a little bit longer. They'll all come down and that's fine. And then again, there's loads of packs there from the Serie A that we could be using for the new promo when it does drop. So I'm not too stressed either way with that one. As we get Malong in that pack, I think it's a small Electrum. And again, in an ideal world, we get West Brom here because we're desperate for them. Uh, this stuff can all go up there for now. And that's a big problem with the Premier League. I'm starting to get a lot of Premier League duplicates now. Um, and that's a problem because I don't want to be wasting duplicates or putting them somewhere other than the league SBCs. So I've, I've got to really... I've got bored in this, that's nice. Um, I've got to really be thinking about what I'm going to be doing with the Premier League stuff at the moment. Is that going to be Munayin? I'll take 83, 83 rating Munayin. Decent bit of fodder. I'm pretty happy with that. You can go to club. Again, a lot of this... The 283s in there is very, very nice. A lot of this probably isn't going to be tradable, I'm assuming. That is tradable. Oh, that's good. This is this, That's very nice. If only got a couple that aren't. That's fine, maybe three of them tradable, that's very good. They can go up there, Fidal can go down there. And then the, this is the Libertadores completed Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack. I probably should have saved this for the end of the video, but you guys know I'm not one of those guys who likes to drag it out and be like, oh, what am I going to get? As we don't even get, but these packs are terrible. They're so bad. Considering, I think they're like, they're supposed to be 50k packs. They're just nowhere near as good as a normal 50k pack. Just, I'd rather have a rare players pack all day long, um, no matter how many players you get in these. They're just not as good as a 50k pack. And a lot of duplicates here, which I don't mind too much, um, because these can go into the marquee matchups, a lot of these ones. So, Cahill okay, is tradable, and Tectomir isn't. So I can go and try and find a place to put these guys now. We'll go away and complete UCL marquee matchups. It will be a relatively short episode, um, but I am prepping the club. And sometimes when I'm prepping the club, it can be a bit more boring than perhaps it would be when we're opening up 50 packs or a promo. But again, this is just a build-up to what should be a lot of excitement. But I'll be right back. All right, and so this is the Champions League or UCL marquee matchups complete. I'm pretty sure, as nobody's guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure I used every single of those duplicates. Every single one of those duplicates. I may not have, but I think I did. Anyway, we'll find out now. I had to buy a few players because I didn't want to use other players. A lot of, lot of stuff is inflated right now too. Like very, very inflated. Did I use all of them? Look at that. Look at that. All of them used. We've got three packs. 45k pack, which again... <laughs> I'm not a massive fan of. Rare mixed players packs that I love. I love those packs. They're great for League SBC method. I tend to get something good from them um, along the way with these things, which is good. This is a UCL card. Now, some of these are really inflated at the moment. So if any of these are going for decent value, they'll be sold. I think Perisic is one of them that is going for quite decent value, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but I think he's going for a fair amount at the moment because of the UCL. So yeah, without a doubt on him, we'll, we'll list him up for 3k and sell him without a doubt. We'll get the 3k for Perisic. No need to keep him right now. These guys sent there. The rest up there to be sold later on, which is fine. Uh, Remix players pack. I don't know why I opened this pack up last because it's probably going to get me something more than the um, than the 45k pack's going to get me. We do get a board in it, which is good. Again, high rated for W S L. Sort of mid range for that we don't. That is Aspas, so that will be sold. Um, decent chunk of coins back from him. I don't know where he's at at the moment, but I think he's got some decent value. Uh, Aspas. Get it up and see what he's selling for. Currently, Mr. Aspas is going for 11,750, so we'll list him for 11,500. He should sell. So that's some of the coins back from this nicely. That can be sent there. And Smalling tends to sell as well, and he might be up a little bit as well because there's a maximum of X amount of players from this and minimum leagues. And yeah, he's up very high at the moment, I thought so. 3,400 on him. It's not bad from that pack. A good chunk of the coins we've just spent back. And then a 45k pack to end it off on. Like I say, I know these next two episodes will probably be quite chill, um, not masses going on in them. But the reason for that is that we're going to, then going to be hitting packs hard when the new promo comes out. As again, we go, <laughs> it's Aspas again. I'll take it. I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> Two Aspases in a row. I will take that either way. 11,500 coins for each of them. But how that's just happened, I don't know. Like, there's so much in this game right now um, to basically get, get the same card twice in the space of two packs. Very, very bizarre, but we take it. Just want to see if Tadic or any of those are selling at the moment. We'll pop them up there and sell them on in a minute. Uh, but yeah, all in all, not bad. We're doing well. The grind continues. And like I say, we've got the whole of the Serie A to complete, the Premier League to refresh, loads of stuff like that to be done. Um, but it's just a case of 
essentially waiting now. Um, just grinding out, waiting for the new promo. So we've got something to grind on the game. A reason to be on the game. Uh, but that is the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you check out my brother's video. It went live yesterday. It's an awesome video. He means the world to me. So please do support him in the same way you support me. Uh, but for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.